It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 25th of April. I'm Michael Groff. A warming trend continues today and tomorrow. In fact, we could have our first 100 degree day of the year on Tuesday. And then temperatures will take a slow trend downward for the rest of the week, but likely remaining above average. As for rain chances, I guffaw at the very notion. All right, we'll talk about all of that in just a moment. But first, yeah, we weren't here on Friday, so we're going to do it Photo Friday on a Monday. This is where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. And first up, this is a picture from Beth in North Phoenix. A beautiful sunset ongoing, and those are not clouds. That is smoke from some of the wildfires drifting into the valley. Still makes for a gorgeous picture, despite the fact that conditions remain just tinderbox dry around here. So... That is going to be something we'll be contending with for a while. And then here's one that we haven't heard from in a while. This is from Chris Martin, his cabin in Ash Fork, Arizona. That's in the central part of the state. As the cold front was coming through on Friday, some windy conditions, a few clouds there. There were some light showers across parts of northern Arizona. That did help with that tunnel fire, fortunately, and did bring about some cooler temperatures this weekend. And finally, we have a picture from me. This is a mystery picture. See if you can guess where that was taken. I'll let you think about that as we roll through the rest of the video. We'll talk about that at the very end. There, a cliffhanger, something suspenseful. We call that a tease. All right, if you want to get in on Photo Friday, you can do so. Groffshow at gmail.com is my email address. That is G-R-O-F-F-Show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, let's take a look at the almanac from yesterday. 86 degrees the afternoon high, 59 was the morning low. Those are pretty close to our normals of 87 and 63. And as we take a look outside right now at 8.55 a.m., mostly sunny sky greeting the valley, and we're sitting at 73 degrees at Sky Harbor, but it's bone dry. Dew point at 18, relative humidity 12%, the winds are light, and the barometer is steady. All right, checking the upper air look. Yep, same old story here. A ridge is building in here across the southwest. A dry west to northwesterly flow continues. The main storm track well to the north of us. Some high clouds will sneak in here tomorrow, but it's going to be very warm in the meantime. The watch warning map is pretty quiet here for late April. We've got some freeze warnings around Des Moines over towards Chicago. Frost advisories further to the south of that. Otherwise, there's really not a whole lot happening right now. Convective outlook for today, we've got a marginal risk of severe storms extending from Brownsville over to Houston, Texas, and up to as far north as Jamestown and Rochester, New York. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Monday morning of next week. Random amounts in Phoenix, nothing. Statewide, nothing. Regionwide, practically nothing. As I said, the main storm track staying far away from us. We are in the dry season after all. This is not an uncommon look. So let's see what's going on with this weather pattern. Are there any changes on the horizon? We'll see what the models have to say. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run. This is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. All right, ridging building in across the southwest. We continue with a dry west to northwesterly flow, troughing across the Pacific Northwest off of the west coast of Canada there. And so for us, down at the surface today, sunny sky, warmer highs, low to mid-90s. Tonight, mostly clear sky, overnight lows, mid-50s to mid-60s. And then tomorrow, the upper heights continuing to rise just a little bit. And now we will see an increase in high clouds, but that's probably not going to slow down the warm up. Officially, on my forecast, I'm going with a high temperature range of 96 to 99. But as I look at the latest national blend of models, it's printing out a high temperature of 100 here in Phoenix tomorrow. And the probability of us hitting 100 degrees is almost increased to a coin flips chance. So whether it's 99 or 100, it's just kind of one of those symbolic things. Either way, it's hot and you want to take the precautions necessary. If you're going to be out there, try to limit your outdoor exposure. If you do have to be outdoors, drink plenty of water. Don't go out there and be one of those fools that goes hiking on our trails, especially between the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Despite the fact that we'll have high clouds around that can be deceiving, it's still going to be very warm tomorrow. So keep that in mind. All right, now the rest of the week still looks warm, but a slow downtrend in temperatures is expected. High temperatures should fall back toward the mid-90s or so on both Wednesday and Thursday. And then a weather system is going to pass by to the north on Friday. We'll be on the tail end of that. Maybe some breezes come in, a few high clouds with it. High temperatures back toward the upper 80s in Phoenix. Over the weekend, highs back to the low, maybe mid-90s for both Saturday and Sunday with mostly sunny sky continuing. And then a week from today, this is Monday, the 2nd of May, another trough over the Pacific Northwest, a somewhat zonal flow setting up here across the Southwest. 
and that looks dry with temperatures maybe at or slightly above seasonal averages. Nothing too crazy, though. And then as we take a look out 10 days, this is Wednesday, the 4th of May, and we've got a ridge over Western Canada. But models have trended a little bit more active with a southern branch here showing a weak trough coming into the southwest. If that verifies, we could see an increase in breezes, maybe some clouds around and temperatures trending down once again. As we take a look at rainfall for Phoenix, this is going out through the 9th of May, coming off of the European Ensemble. Whether it's the Euro or the GFS, it's the same result. Dry, dry, dry. No meaningful chance of any precipitation anytime soon, as is to be expected this time of year. And temperatures off the national blend of models. I told you it's printing out a high of 100 degrees for tomorrow. So probably about a 50% chance we hit that. Uh, either way, it's going to be hot. And then temperatures do trend down slightly for the rest of the week. But overall, readings staying above average through the forecast period. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And music fans, of course, you're going to check out my streaming station. It's called KMGX. We play a lot of music, have a lot of fun while doing that. And when I say we, I mean it's myself and the one and only my one and only Michelle that are involved in the operation and programming of that entity. And when you listen, I'm happy. Michelle is elated. We do a happy dance around here and it's quite a sight. And you know what? Maybe one day we'll post video of that. Yes, we do actually dance every single time there's a new listener. Don't believe me? Tune in and I'll show you. All right. All right. Now, speaking of the one and only Michelle, we were out and about over the last few days, and that takes us back to the mystery photo that I showed you earlier in the video. I took this on Saturday. Where is this from exactly? Well, if you said Las Vegas, that is correct. But more specifically, that's looking toward Mount Charleston from the 56th floor of the Palms. So on a day like today, when we're kind of light on content, it's nice for me to participate in my own feature, Photo Friday. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is always appreciated. You guys be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there and have yourselves an epic Monday.